Intel Granite Rapids AP server CPU for massive LGA7529 socket has been pictured already. ATI Radeon HD4870 and HD4850 GPUs were released 15 years ago today. Gigabyte introduces their Bricks mini PCs with AMD Ryzen 7030U APUs. And lastly, Noctua has launched their Direct Die Mounting Kit for deleted AMD Ryzen 7000 CPUs. This is Tech Track. Alright, so firstly, we have a Twitter user UKNS just posted this and well, when you look at that, that's the Granite Rapids AP LGA7529 processors you're looking at. And boy, these are massive. Look at the size of that. It's a chonker size of CPU that I've never seen before. Well, this is probably the biggest one that ever existed because look at the size of them. They're huge. It was, uh, well, showed, showcased before, I believe, but we didn't really get to see the whole uh, picture, whole, like, the look of it in the Computex, I believe. They didn't let you to look into the whole thing, but now we, we have a better picture here to see what the size can be and well the pin pin array that makes sense lg is 7529 well land grid array not pin grid uh, lands are well 7529 uh, lanes or lands or whatever you call that but yeah it's just like oh my lord this is huge and probably uh, predicted to be having 800 watts of consumption that is a prediction so not really a certain but yeah it's a prediction but it's huge and that is the socket you're looking at the lga 7529 well 7529 that's the way to do it but yeah it's again it's the same size as the cpu you can see that it is big and it's for servers understandably but it's way too big like seriously i've never seen such size before but yeah that's huge Next up, we have an article for Computer Base here, and basically they're saying that the ATI Radeon HD4850 was tested 15 years ago, this date, and well, it's been a long time since AMD made a, you know, cheap use, and well, probably their earlier samples, the ATI Radeon HD4850, and that's the die you're looking at, as well as the GPU itself, well, Back then, they didn't really look that much appealing, but I can guarantee you this was expensive back then because, you know, it was the only one in that time from AMD, of course. And did, they also did a rating back then where the then NVIDIA GeForce 9800 existed, the GTX plus SLI and the 9800 GX2, and then there's GTX 280, and there's the ATI Radeon AG4850CF. Well, it was rated 139.8 score, which was still like doing good in terms of competition, you know, at that time, because it was competing against the GTX 280, I believe, because as you can see, they're pretty close. And also the AG387, or the predecessor, or not exactly the predecessor, there's some numbering, you know, differences here. But yeah, like they did pretty well back then because the competition was always there and then some time later it fell off and then of course it emerged again with the radeon gpu of course so yeah it's a it's a wild history of gpus there so yeah it's just a throwback to the history of gpus oh well, amd gpus of course a legendary one radeon hd 4850 next up we have an article from video cards here and it's a press release for the gigabyte bricks mini pc series and if you look into it well it's a mini pc with the amd ryzen 7030 u series of processor and yeah it's a mini pc like the intel nuke so looking pretty good and if you look closely there's a front and a back io and if you look closely enough in the front we have four usb i believe that's uh 3.0 or could be 2.0 but i believe there's a 3.0 because it should support 3.0 four of them might want to be concerning but there's an audio jack or not really concerning it's just you know, four of them yes yeah, possible and there's an audio jack of course a power button and in the back we have hdmi output basically and that will land port and two of them is basically usb or dp well that's interesting yeah. there's another hdmi port and that's probably the power and there's a lock button here i'm not sure what that is though we also have some performance metrics here and they're comparing their amd 7730u 
versus the previous generation Intel i7 10710U processor. And if you look closely, well, that's a, a lot of boost in performance. Plus 140% performance increase in the multi-thread and Cinebench R23. And in single thread, we're getting plus 70% performance increase, where the scores we're looking at for multi-thread is 9,937 compared to 4,079. And for a single thread, we're looking at 1,463 compared to 8,863. That's coming from the Intel. So yeah, it's a massive uplift, well, rightfully so, because a new processor, 7,000 series of processor, U processor series of processors so yeah it's interesting to look at that these are these do kick some punches and there's the detail io here well i was right about usb 3.2 Zen 2 Type A, but not the, well, well I, I did say 3.0, not 3.2, right, that was a mistake, but yeah, these series right here is the USB 2.0 Type A, well, the mic and headphone together combined, and the power button, yes, and that was the, well, the Kingston Lock, or Kensington Hmm, interesting. Lock slot. I don't know how that performs, but yeah, whatever that is. But yeah, the rest of the things are there. And these are the variants we'll be looking at. All types of, well, the CPU variants. The 7730 and the 530, which also has some variations because as you can see, the graphics, well, well, all of them have the AMD Radeon graphics with two times DDR4 memories. Well, basically 32 gigs, but I'm guessing 16 plus 16 so yeah that's how they're gonna they're gonna go it and we also have the best part which is the 2.5 gigs of lan and the wi-fi 6 so that's pretty neat and as you can see there's two hdmi 2.0 outputs and two times dp 1.4 outputs and there's a reason why they're 1.4 is tiny you know and, and in terms of storage here we have that one times m.2 pci x4 sata and one of them, which is the 2.5 HDD or SSD drive, depending on what you choose, you know, depending on the model. And we also have another model, which is coming with the PCI X times 4 SATA M.2 and 2 M.2 PCI 1 SATA. And of course, the similar 2.5 inch of HDD or SSD, depending on what you choose. And next up, we have Noctua have launched their Atom DD1 direct die cooling mechanism, as you can see here. Well, if you don't know what direct die is, it's basically you just slow up the top part of the CPU and directly cool the cores and the memory controllers there. But yeah, that's the basically a concept of direct die and it's more efficient in terms of cooling, as you can tell. So these are the modules you'll be getting for this kit here, the direct die kit. There's the NMDD1 with the socket itself and that's the more detailed pick of how it goes and as you can see the the processor, the top lid is not there. So yeah, basically that's how you cool using the direct die. And of course this kit will improve the stability, like customization for any kind of coolers. I believe they're going to be able to do that with any kind of coolers. And well, yeah, that, that really helps for the direct die cooling. But still though, direct die cooling is very like, you know, risky in terms of, you know, just doing direct die cooling because you can damage the processors. But this kit here is developed by none other than Debauer. Exactly. So Debauer, if you don't know who that is, well, you should know it. He's one of the best uh, out there in terms of cooling. Like he has made so many things like that cryonaut cooling technology from I don't know which company that is. He is a particular company. But yeah, they have developed Noctua has developed this with Debauer, of course. And that is something to look out for because I, I, I believe this is going to be a good product because in terms of cooling, as I said already, the Bauer has done some extremely good stuff. And if, we should check him out. He has done plenty for this community of cooling, of course, PC processor cooling or any other cooling we we're talking about. So, yeah, I, I'm really curious to see how this will work in terms of, you know, easier mountability for the direct die cooling. So we'll see about that. It's very interesting. 